Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I, I feel like, oh boy, man, I feel like this is your person. They know. Honestly, I, 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 I honestly get the sense that this they're not, these two are not connected to your person. I have to say, I'm, I'm just going to go with how I feel out here. This is all in your person's mind. What they're going through right now is, um, a lot of painful thoughts. Okay. This is a lot of pain. This is, this is, uh, the thoughts that are going on in their head over and over all night long. They can't sleep. It's keeping them up. What they're thinking about is who are you talking to? Who's flirting with you? Who's coming towards you? Who, who, who? Um, seriously. Uh, and this energy is coming in fast and they have no idea. Um, that everything is hidden. You're keeping all your moves hidden, collective. I don't even feel your energy out here yet. Um, yeah, and yeah, they self-sabotaged is what they did. And they know it. This person could have made some risky moves. Um, just, you know, here's the thing about the Fool card, right? Um, the Fool is a fool because they, they do something impulsive without thinking it through. So I feel like that's what this person did. And they were warned by little Toto here, this little dog, right? They were warned, watch where you're going or you're going to step off this cliff. And, and they kind of did whatever they wanted. They, they, um, they didn't think there would be any consequences. They weren't watching what they were doing. They weren't even really being considerate of anybody else's feelings. They just, it's like they wanted, they saw something, they wanted something, they went for it, and boom, okay? They self-sabotaged this connection um, by making some kind of foolish move and yeah, they're laying in bed at night, not sleeping, wondering who's like, this is them picturing other people coming towards you. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. They keep picturing other people coming towards you. Um, I don't know why they're showing up as pages. I, I think it's because it's in this person's head. You know, and maybe they come from a place where... Um, they're very immature, so they're thinking of these, you know, younger people coming towards you, all uh, energy coming in towards you quickly, but yet um, it's like they can't see what's happening with you. That, that you, You're not um, giving them any answers. You're not sending out any clues. You're not, they can't see what you're doing. Everything is really hidden from this person, and that's why it's almost like they're having this reoccurring dream over and over every night, this reoccurring dream. It's either you're, with, you're talking to someone or you're flirting with someone. It, it just keeps coming at them night after night after night, but yet they wake up. If they do sleep at all, this is what they're thinking about or dreaming about. And they wake up crying in a pool of sweat because they know they, they put themselves in this situation. They put themselves here. You know, and here they, I feel like this person missed out on wish fulfillment. Okay. They, they missed out on um, ultimate happiness here with you. And this was a blessing, you know, the Ten of Cups. That's one of the best feel-good cards in the deck, okay? Um, yeah, they could have had a happy connection, happy family, um, a happy home, um, emotional fulfillment for years to come. This is, you know, they missed out on it. They juggled you with someone else. They told you a bunch of lies. They had in and out energy and they sabotaged this. They sabotaged this connection. And when they walked away from you, they walked away from happiness. Well, you know, when they walked away from you, they walked away from their soulmate connection. 
Um, it, it's it, it. This is what this person did to themselves, and now they're having their. It's almost like they 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 have these dreams or visions in their mind, right? Um, it's either daydreams or or nightmares about someone else approaching you. Um, how many others are approaching you? Maybe it's stuff that they're hearing, things that they're hearing maybe from other people. That's got them going crazy too. But I just feel like it's night after night. It, the, the, the dreams keep coming night after night. They, they, they may lay awake in bed or pace the floors thinking of who's touching you. Who are you flirting with? Who are you talking to? And your moves are being kept hidden. Like I said, good for you, Collective. You're not supposed to be putting everything out there right now. <laughs> you know, if you are talking to someone else, I feel like you're keeping it hidden. Yet yeah, this could be your twin flame soulmate connection. You could be a divine feminine, divine masculine. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Aries, Virgo, uh... Pisces, Cancer, but I feel like this person, you know, if they're if they're not thinking about this, it's almost like they have this reoccurring nightmare. Um, they wake up, they know it's their fault, they feel sick about it. Then they get up and then they watch you and try to look for a sign. They tr they watch you and watch you and watch you. This person's not sleeping. Look at how dark and sunk in their eyes are. You know, they're completely focused right now on what you're doing. Who are you with? Who are you seeing? Okay. Yeah. Earth angel energy here. Because you are mixing up. I feel like you are mixing up a new soulmate connection. Um, you could be a Sagittarius. You could be the Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer. Take it how it resonates with you. But I feel like you're an earth angel and this person knows it. You, I, I, I'm kind of getting the sense you're a divine feminine here. Okay? Yeah, you're, I feel like you've transformed death and transformation. You may have gone from somebody who they really hurt, ghosted, sabotaged, left to cry into one of the strongest queens in the deck. This is a warrior queen here. This person put you through it. You know, they really did. Um, the queen of wands, she's a warrior because she's been dragged through the mud. Your reputation's been dragged through the mud. You were hurt and nobody helped you. You know, nobody, I feel like no one gave you clarity. You had to pick yourself up from the mud and you're reborn you're you know that's that's really the feeling that i'm getting off the death card you're you're transmuting and transforming this energy of the pain and what this person did into a new beginning for yourself you're taking your control back and they know that this is about to end you're you're manifesting the things that are going to make you happy because you know what? This person cut you out, and they never showed you love to begin with. They just, they came in, in and out energy, with lies. And then they left you behind, abandoned, right? Ghosted. They just walked away. They're feeling like a fool now. And they did this to an earth angel, I feel. Um, you're the sexiest queen in the deck. You're a divine being. Um, you would have been their Ten of Pentacles. This one wants to come out. And you're having a new beginning. You're having a new beginning. And it's this, like I said, this person's watching you. They're watching what you're doing. And I feel like um, they're fascinated by you. They're in awe here. They can't, if they're not watching you collective, they're either you know freaking out and panicking and having a lot of mental anxiety over you meeting someone else or they're having reoccurring nightmares about you i'm seeing this is the nightmares just keep coming night after night after night 
and and uh, night after night every day this person is watching you watching you closely to try to find out who it is that you're with who how many people are approaching you they know you're being approached by a lot of people yeah and they're right there's a new person coming in they're absolutely right there is a new person coming in I feel like you're if you haven't met this new person you're about to you're about to and this person too they've been through a battle they're coming out of that battle having a victory okay that means this person has learned some lessons they've put in some work and they're gonna ride past all of these opinions and all of these other people fighting for them okay fighting for their attention and they're gonna give that wreath directly to you this is gonna be somebody who's gonna know what they want someone who's not gonna play little games you know I feel like you've both been put through it here you and this new person coming in and I'm, pr I'm probably the only reader out here who sees this as someone new it's only because I can't see the person the person's face and I know that in the after tarot this same card the six of wands this person hands this wreath to the person they choose so yeah I feel like this is somebody new this is a new passionate beginning with someone um, and that's when your person's tower comes down when they find out about this new connection this is like a sudden realization that's just like kind of earth shattering life shattering for this person um it's a kick in the gut it knocks the wind out of you when they find out that you're with someone new it's going to knock the wind out of this person they're going to be in so much regret when this truth comes out i i feel like this is illumination because right now this person's in the dark right right now they're in the dark um, and now the things are about to be illuminated to this person that you do have new love coming in I feel like you're about to get someone new you may not have yet but you're about to and it's not gonna be a page it's gonna be somebody who um, is very like this could be someone in the public eye it could be somebody who's well respected in their community very well liked they could have a lot of people like I said fighting for their attention a popular person someone who's celebrated um, and someone who's got their life and their act together and someone who's gonna know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you are for them that's what you have coming towards you um, and yeah it's this person's gonna I feel like they're gonna find out and they're gonna be in so much regret for walking or turning their back on your soulmate connection and walking away okay and the things that they did to you in this connection it's like um, how do they just take it back right I feel like they cut you out quickly they could have even said some some really harsh words I feel like when this person finds out not only is it gonna bring down their foundation it's gonna feel like they got the wind knocked out of them um, this is you know when you kind of find something out and it's so shocking and it, it it really messes you up so bad that you just kind of fall to the floor that's what this is it's literally their worst nightmare a reoccurring one every night you know and I feel like that it's gonna make them angry too this person's gonna be mad mad upset because you know they here's the thing though they feel embarrassed they feel ashamed because they did this to themselves they did this to themselves and here on the bottom of the deck we've got the six of cups right having a lot of memories about you um really being nostalgic but the thing that I see about the six of cups and I'm probably the only reader out here who does it is that you were innocent 
You were flipping innocent collective. You were telling them the truth. Look at your hoodie. It's down. You had mittens on. You would have never hurt this person. You looked up to this person. You respected them. You trusted them. This person could be a bit older than you, but I know they were hiding something under this hoodie. They weren't honest with you. They lied. They betrayed. Um, they had in and out energy and they knew what they were doing. This is a plan. This is someone who knows what they're doing and knows they're, at least they think they're going to get away with it. Remember the fool card. They didn't think that they would have any consequences to what they were doing at all. None. You know, so what they did was they hurt not only an earth angel, but you have to understand, they hurt somebody who would have given them innocent love. You didn't have a single bad intention for this person. You know, even if you weren't an earth angel, you were certainly loving them like one. And they were wrong to do what they did. They didn't see that there would be consequences, but they can sure feel them now. You don't just go around messing with light workers and earth angels. You don't do that and think that there isn't going to be any consequences. You know, now you're moving forward, okay? Um, you're, you're leaving the scene. You're, your energy is, is pulling away because you, you put in the effort. You've leveled up in your life, and you're entering into a new cycle, releasing this energy, and, um, and you're about to get somebody new. And I feel like um, you're grounded, you're stable, you're living a life of peace right now, really. This is the busiest queen in the deck to me, but you, you, you have this uncanny ability, right, to take care of everything single-handedly. So um, you could be a, a very busy parent or a, a busy business owner or both. You get to, you, this, this queen can handle, she can take care of the children, the home, the finances, the business, the paying of the bills, the laundry, the dishes, cooking dinner, errands. She takes care of it all. You, so you're very stable. You're very grounded. And sitting in the Queen of Pentacles throne, you're also very financially stable as well. You could even be like a manager, boss, business owner, something like that. Because you're responsible, you're dedicated, you're loyal, you're committed to the things that you have control of and the things that you can nurture and grow. Okay? And you do it well. <laughs> you make it look easy breezy. Okay? You really do. Um, and uh, this is also wifey. I feel like this person sees you as wifey. That's that's why the, the tower is crumbling so, down so hard on this person is because they really, they know they let go of the best love that they'll probably ever find in their life. They're not going to find another earth angel just walking down the street. You know? And, and the way that they, that they hurt you, um, a lot of people would say it's unforgivable. This person knew what they were doing. And they snickered about it afterwards. So, you know, um, yeah, they're in a lot of regret. They're, they're in a lot of, they're very ashamed of themselves, as they should be. As they should be. But their worst fear and their worst regret is that if, if you wind up in, in the hands of someone else, they don't want, or in the arms, let's just say that. If you wind up in the arms of someone else, they don't want that. And that's what's happening. It's been in almost every one of my readings, and it's, you know, a hundred or more tarot card readers out there are getting the same thing. You're about to get new love. You are collective. And this new love is going to match your energy where you are now, in it, like in your journey, right? You're leveled up. This person is still 
laying in bed crying at night in a pool of their own sweat. You know, having reoccurring nightmares, tower moments. Um, they need to uh, take a look at their past behavior. This is them learning a lesson the hard way. But that's what they get for not recognizing an earth angel when they had you right there in front of them. They didn't recognize you. They didn't recognize you. They thought that you were good enough to take advantage of, but not good enough to stick around with. You know, it's real sad. And this is judgment. You don't mess with the earth angels, buddy. You just don't. Now this person is going to be out in the cold. And it's not just out in the cold. I mean, when you look at this card, right? Say they went somewhere else where they thought the grass was greener. There's no grass under this. You know, they're, they're, they don't have any new opportunities. Nothing new is coming in for them. Nothing seems to be working right for them. Okay? Some of these people, for some of them, they've lost jobs. They're losing money. They don't have enough to pay the bills. They don't have enough to pay the rent. And boom, they're out in the cold. Some of these people could get evicted, you know, from their home. Doesn't matter if we're in the holidays or not. But the, the point is, is um, this is your person getting their karma. The life they chose instead of you didn't turn out real well for them. And they, they realize that, that, you know, I, I'm just hearing no need to remind me. Yeah, they realize that. <laughs> um, I feel like they're kind of angry with themselves as well. Okay, but this is judgment. They're being judged. And I feel like when you get new love, they're going to be shown this. And this person now will have to watch you move on in the arms of someone else who actually isn't going to hem and haw about what it is that they want. They're, they're, they're going to know exactly what they want. They're going to be able to make a decision. You know, and I feel like it, you're going to get your ten of cups because that's the kind of energy you bring to the table. Okay, um, let's see how this person feels inside. Let's go through the mixed emotions deck. Oh, I'm holding it. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm not going to take this deck in reverse, okay? I very seldom do. I just want to check for reversals quick, okay? Yeah, just give me a second. I don't like to start out my decks, and I don't take this one in reverse, so... Yeah, just, I oh, just want to whip through it really quick, like here. Okay. All right, so Divine, how is this person feeling about the collective? Yeah, you're moving on. I, I feel like they're having reoccurring nightmares. I mean, this person, they can't get any rest. Uh, they're getting no rest at all. Just constant tower moments. Try, you know, they, it's almost like they, they can picture you with someone else. Yet they don't really know because yet you're keeping your moves hidden. They're still very much in the dark. Um, I mean, they're uh, right now, they're not real right in the head. Okay? They're not. They're a mess. This person's a mess. They know they hurt you, collective. Um, they may feel stuck, trapped. For some of these masculines, I feel like it's a masculine energy. They could even be in jail, but that's not for all of you, maybe a handful of you. Very stuck somewhere. I just feel like they chose someone else over you. Yeah, this person's in love with you, Collective. They're in love. Um, they could have gotten themselves committed somewhere else where... They feel stuck and trapped. Just, I mean, they have no zest for life. None. Life has not, their life has not been the same since they walked away from you. It's, it's like um, 
that energy, that beautiful, fun, loving energy, it's just gone. There's such an absence, right? And I, I feel like all they do is sit and watch time tick by. You're the only bright spot in this person's life when they get to watch you. And I'm telling you, they're fascinated by what you're doing. You, you, well, you've got this earth angel energy. You could be in the public eye. Um, a leader here. I feel like you're leading people through this portal here. I, I feel like um, this is that 1111 portal that opened up and you're helping to guide other people. You're earth angel energy. You're a light worker. So you're helping people out there doing something intuitive. You're literally wrapped in purple here. You're um, extremely intuitively lit, right? Very connected to the divine. An awesome manifester. Um, whatever it is you're putting out there, I feel like this person's watching you on a computer. Whatever you're, whatever you're doing, they are absolutely fascinated. I feel like they're in awe. And um, this is their only happy time is when they get to watch you. That's when they feel good, you know. And I feel like they've realized a lot about this connection um, and the spiritual side of this connection, right, um, by watching you. But, man, they just they need to do their work, you know. They're in a lot of regret. When they're not watching you, they slip back into a depression. Okay, sadness and regret that they didn't choose the right path. They regret being so doubtful and indecisive. They regret acting a fool, um, using you, taking advantage of you, and ghosting you. They regret it all. Okay, how does this person feel about the collective? envious this is it they do not want you to get with someone new they're feeling very possessive jealous suspicious all they can do is feel the energy but you're not showing them anything personal about what's going on with you and who you're with okay you're keeping all your moves hidden from like everybody so it's driving, that's what's driving this person crazy, but why should you tell them anything? It's not their business anymore. You, this is Queen of Wands. She's, she's healed from being dragged through the mud and the dirt. Okay, that's why she's a warrior. And you know your value. You don't have to tell anybody anything. You don't have to give them any explanations of what you're doing. So you're not. You're just out there living your life. While new love comes in. All right. Let's see what this person wants to say. Okay. Yeah, just no collective. Um, this is the biggest problem here, is this jealousy and feeling possessive. They do not want to let you go, and they do not want you to get with anyone new, but they, they feel stuck somewhere. It's either they're in jail for some reason, or they're with somebody else. Because I do see somebody following someone out in the cold. A possible home situation that could be crumbling, even though I think this is that kick in the gut for your person. Knocking the wind out of them every time they think of you with somebody else. Alright, what does this person want to say to the collective? I don't know if I believe in soulmates or twin flames, but if I do, you are my twin flame. I told you, this person is... They're watching you. As they're watching you, you're helping to guide other people through this portal, guide them through their healing. And I think because you're an earth angel, a light worker, and I feel like they're taking in that information. It's literally, they're in awe. They're fascinated by what you're doing. 
I feel like this person didn't realize you were this knowledgeable. Well, they didn't even realize you were you were an earth angel. Um, when I said I didn't love you, that was a lie. People around me keep talking about you. Yeah, I'll bet they do. Um, I don't want to lose myself in this relationship. Did you give up on us? There's no passion in my life. I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog Day. What did I tell you guys? There's no passion. This person's absolutely bored and feeling trapped and stuck. Okay? Wanting to know if you're with someone else. If How do you feel? They don't even know how you feel about them anymore. You know, they left you alone for too long. They abandoned you after they uh, took advantage of you. What did the, this person didn't expect to have any consequences from that? Of course there's consequences from that. They're miserable without you. That's it. Number one. Number one consequence, they're miserable now. And there's no passion in their life. And then the more people keep talking about you because... You're on a glow up. You're on the rise. You're leveling up in your life, right? You're an earth angel energy putting yourself out there. Extremely intuitive. You could have, if you're on the internet, because they're watching you on the internet here. Um, you could have a public podium. So you could even be like a spiritualist or even another tarot card reader out here on YouTube. It could be anything, right? Whatever it is you're doing, I feel like you're doing miraculous things. And that's proving to this person exactly who and what you are. You're an earth angel. Hello. That's how you can do what it is that you're doing. You know, you get that energy from the divine. You get your guidance from the divine. And you're proving to this person who you are. Every time they see you, you prove it without even having anything to do with them. It's, it's actually, it's mind-blowingly beautiful, okay? It really is. Just, you know, your person's having a hard time dealing with it because they screwed over an earth angel, thinking there would be no consequences, you know? But collective, yeah, just know this. This person is in love with you. They are. But judgment is being called on this situation because your person, they, they didn't come to make things right. And they mistreated a divine being. And you know what? They thought there'd be no consequences, but there's consequences that go along with this. And I feel like they're they're paying a karmic debt right now. Through reoccurring nightmares and being miserable without you.